All right, we're back at it again with more prop testing. I actually thought that I was going to wrap this AeroScout prop testing project up, uh, just gather a few more uh, in-flight tests to finish up the uh, props that I already tested, and uh, got to talking with Master Airscrew, and they hooked us up with a whole bunch of props. I've got seven more props that they uh, suggested that I test on the uh, AeroScout. Now, as you can see, some of these other props are much larger. What uh, Master Airscrew wanted uh, me to do on these props is to check them with uh, some of my other airplanes. So I've got the uh, Timber X, Turbo Timber Revolution, and I have the uh, FMS Sky Trainer. Um, we're going to test these larger props, and there's a mixture of each, but a lot of them will cross over between the planes. But we're going to check all of those on a future episodes. But uh, these uh, next two episodes are still going to be dedicated to the Aero Scout. We're going to wrap that series up. So all these props that they sent are uh, drone based. These are all drone uh, prop sets. They've got a clockwise and counterclockwise, one, you know, two of each. Obviously, we're going to use just the one style, so one of them we, we won't be able to use. But let me kind of break down what I've got here. We're going to do our standard uh, uh, static tests on these seven props. And I think we'll probably have one more episode of this series with the AeroScout specifically. Uh, wrapping up all the air testing. So we're going to be checking the rate of climb, the top speed for all these props, and uh, to go in addition to the static test, because the static test doesn't tell us everything, but it's it's good, valuable information. But I want to make this as complete as possible. This episode, we're going to do the static test on these seven props, finish that, and then the uh, the next episode, we'll do all the, the in-flight testing on hopefully all the rest of the props, including the ones I previously tested. So it's going to be a whole lot of data to go over and a whole lot of flight testing. Let's get back to uh, what I'm here for today. Now these props all come in a lot of different colors. Uh, I decided to go with these colors. They kind of let me go through and pick what I wanted to use. So the orange props are the Bullnose series. Green props are the uh, FPV Racing series. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, you know, if there's any difference, uh, what difference that is. We'll get weights on all these. So before I get into uh, weighing them and I'll show you the part numbers for each, I've got the same same test up setup that we got before with my scale. I've got a camera that will be videoing the scale uh, value. And then, of course, on my Radio Master, I've got my the telemetry from the Avian ESC that I have in the AeroScout. Now it tells me RPM, amperage, so we can get that data right off of that. I don't need to put the power monitor anymore. And I have validated that with the with a power meter and a separate multimeter to make sure that it's accurate information. And a non-contact uh, tachometer, I verified the motor RPM. So. Uh, I'm pretty confident that all that is accurate. Uh, now let me show you each of these props. All right, so the first prop we got here is a five inch by four and a half pitch prop. Uh, you can read the number off of that. Like I said, they come with four props, two clockwise, two counterclockwise. Uh, this is the Bullnose series. Uh, second prop here is the uh, Racing series. Uh, it's also a five by four and a half. So same pitch and diameter, just different uh, geometry. Uh, third prop is uh, then bumping up to a six inch by four and a half. So just slightly longer, same pitch, same geometry. Fourth prop, then we're gonna get into the three bladed props. Uh, first one is a bull nose series. That's a five inch by four and a half, but in a three blade. Fourth prop, another bull nose series. This is a six inch by four and a half pitch in the bull nose. And then uh, the last two props are the racing series in three blade. First one's a five inch by four and a half. In the racing series. And then the last one is a racing series uh, six inch by four and a half. So it'll be interesting since they're fairly similar propellers, but different uh, geometry and uh, you know, construction with the different styles. All right, on the scale, I've got the uh, weight set in grams. This is the first prop. This is the, the five inch by four and a half bull nose. I got five grams. Now we've got the five inch by four and a half racing series, four grams, the six inch by four and a half racing series, two blade, five grams. Now we've got the five inch by four and a half bull nose, three blade, six grams. Now the six inch by four and a half bull nose, three blade, that's 10 grams. Now the five inch by four and a half, three blade racing series, four grams. And last, the six inch by four and a half racing series three blade, six grams. So the racing series do seem a lot lighter overall. 
So I've got four batteries charged up. My plan is to do um, each battery. I'm going to test two props to give it. Uh, so make sure that each prop test has a uh, you know a full charge. I don't want to deplete the battery for that. So one battery for these, one battery for these, one battery for these, and the last one will just be uh, one test on that final fourth battery. All right, we got everything set up. I've got the radio connected. We got telemetry. Let's get the scale turned on. Okay, testing the first prop. The bullnose five by four and a half. Test number one. Okay, we'll do a screenshot of that. Okay. Test number two. Okay. Screenshot that. All right. So that one uh, seems to be pretty similar to stock. Let's reset the scale. Arm the prop. Okay, here we go. Test number one of the five inch by four and a half racing series prop. Well, significantly less thrust on that one. Much less amps. Okay, we'll do one more test on that one. Let's clear the telemetry. All right, test number two of the five by four and a half racing series. Man, yeah, not very impressive static thrust, that's for sure. I'm going to screenshot of that. Okay, test number one of the Racing Series 6x4.5, brand new battery. Alright, here we go. Thrust. 20 amps, not bad. Screenshot captured. Test number two. Six racing series six by four and a half. Test number one of the three blade bull nose five by four and a half. Not bad. Not high amps. We'll see. Here we go. Test number two, five inch by four and a half, three blade bull nose. to the six inch by four and a half. Bull nose, six by four and a half, three blade. All right, let's go. Bull nose, six inch by four and a half. <laughs> Racing series five by four and a half. All right, here we go. Test number one. Two five inch by four and a half racing series scales reset, telemetry reset. Here we go. Screenshot captured. Timer one reset. Timer two reset. Cut. All right, last prop. The 
which is the Racing Series, six inch by four and a half. <laughs> Saw some spikes there. Test number two. Alright, let's plug in these values into our spreadsheet and uh, we'll crunch some numbers. Not a whole lot to look at just yet because we've got to get these flight tests done, but a lot of numbers to crunch. Okay, so now that we've collected that data, let's uh, take a look at my spreadsheet. Now, this spreadsheet is copied. There's a link to this spreadsheet down below if you want to, you know, look over this data. Uh, <clears throat> you know, and it is, of course, locked, so you guys can't edit it, but you can look at it, and you could make a copy of it. If you come down here, you can, uh, some of these will be grayed out, but you can do copy to new spreadsheet, and you could create your own out of this data, so you can kind of manipulate it, but... Um, this isn't my original, this is a copy, so I can kind of mess around with these columns to show you. But uh, So the ones down here in the outline are the, the, the seven we just tested in this video. So I can see over here on the right, I've got a lot of flight data still to fill in, and this this will be very interesting stuff. I'm probably not going to continue with the 50 degrees. I'm going to change this to give it a little, give the props a little more of a workout to see if they can handle a 65 degree climb uh, angle, but I'm going to continue with the two pass average, you know, one into the wind, one away from the wind, and uh, try to get those averages. I got to redo some of these. Like this one was kind of a low battery, so with a full battery, I suspect it would have probably beaten the stock prop. But so I'm going to redo those, get the flight amps to see how that compares to static amps, and uh, just give us a lot more data. I don't know if you guys are as nerdy as I am, but I, I love this kind of data. <clears throat> so of the ones we just tested, uh, nothing really jumped out as beating our current favorite, which is the uh, 6x3.2 three-blade. is still kind of the champion so far of this series. Time will tell, you know, as we do the speed tests and stuff, if that's more important to you guys, uh, the speed. Personally, I, I'm more about the climb rate, uh, takeoff roll, so the static thrust, I think, is more important. But uh, it'll be interesting to find out how that translates to climb rate and speed so you can kind of see here uh, of the ones we just tested they're all over the board kind of like the ones we've tested before uh, that one there i highlighted it because it was exceeding the the 30 amp limit of our uh, esc some of these that the, the little uh, lightweight racing series really low amps but not a whole lot of thrust uh, low, lower than stock even the efficiency number is this grams per amp if you have this moved out it doesn't work unless you have it on your own spreadsheet and i've got it i've got this kind of locked here so i can scroll but if i click in one of these fields i can sort by that so let's let's sort them by uh i'll call it efficiency the grams per amp if i click that and then go up here to data sort sheet uh, z to a so this top one here would be the most efficient that's that yellow and black azure power certainly not the highest thrust but the best thrust per amps so very efficient uh, didn't get a hot you know a lot of speed but I mean, we're talking five miles an hour when you're flying around that's plenty fast enough but anyway this will just give you the so you can sort them by efficiency to see you know the the current favorite being this six by three point two so we're you know the sixth one down is efficiency but it had by far the highest static thrust which translates to shorter takeoff roll and uh, better climb rate. Uh, some of them are getting up there close. Let's see. But some of these really inefficient. You know, like we're getting way down here, that one I just tested. It's a super heavy prop. This thing weighed 10 grams. Uh, but I'll let you analyze these. I don't want to take too much time on this. It'll be much more interesting when I get these flight data populated. But uh, if you want to play around with this spreadsheet, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, let me uh, undo that. So if I want to sort it by grams of thrust in the static test, you know, you just click in that field, go to data, sort sheet. So if you do A to Z, it'll do lowest to highest. If you do Z to A, it'll do highest to lowest. So, you know, there's our current champion, highest thrust, 
the red Azure Power. I haven't really spent a lot of time on that one, but I'm interested to see. That one had a higher amps, but almost the same thrust. So I'm interested to see what kind of speed that one will get. Same with the Scimitar. That's currently probably my second favorite, maybe my first favorite. It sounded cooler. So of all this, all this testing I'm doing, the only two things that are really opinion-based are the sound and the look. Everything else, as you can see, I'm trying to collect as much actual measured data as possible. So, you know, you're not going to hear me saying, oh, that one climbs better, unless I've got actual data to back it up. I've had a few people uh, talking about different props and saying, oh, this one works better for me, or that one works better for me, but they don't have any actual measured data to back it up. So that doesn't really mean anything to me. I'm going to go by scientific data as much as possible. So these measured values are much more important to me than... Uh, seat of the pants performance. Still got a lot to find out with the, uh, with the flight testing. So uh, keep, an, keep an eye out for the next video where we're gonna, I'm gonna do a flight test for all these props. Uh, not sure how I'm gonna do it. This will be a long, possibly boring video if I show every single one of these props in their flight testing because I'm basically gonna take off, climb to 200 feet at 65 degrees, get a time to climb for that, you know, our feet per minute. And then I'm going to do two speed passes and get the average. So I'll probably just do a show a few of those and then kind of go over the, the numbers once we see them. Maybe I'll show a few highlights of that, uh, of the some of those props that are maybe more interesting. Tell me what you think. Um, I'll have links to some of these below. Uh, Master Air Screw, thanks again to them for uh, sponsoring this video and uh, providing us with a bunch of new props to check. We've got uh, affiliate links below for Master Air Screw, so if you're interested in any of these, please use our links. So thanks for watching. Keep an, keep an eye out for the new videos, and uh, we've got a lot more to come with those other airplanes as well. Like I mentioned in the video, we've got uh, I've got all these props for the Timber X, the Turbo Timber Evolution, and the Sky Trainer. A lot of these will cross back and forth between all three of these planes because they're all very similar, but the motors are different. So you can see I've got the motor listed here. 850 kV on that one, 800 kV on the Turbo Timber Evo, and then 900 kV on the Turbo Timber X. So different motors. A lot of the similar props, physical size, should be compatible with the uh, airframe of the plane. So uh, those videos are coming up too. Thanks for watching. Take care.